Hi, I'm Leslie Jane Seymour. I'm the editor-in-chief of Moore Magazine, and I'm here with my friend Kellyanne Conway of Woman Trend and the Polling Company, and we're going to talk about that great woman who I believe we just saw a poll that said she's the most admired woman in the country, if not in the world, Hillary Rodham Clinton, our Secretary of State. What's up for her? What's coming? And what do you think is going to happen? Is she going to run for president at some point? Well, not of this country. Uh, <laughs> okay. One of the best things that ever happened to Hillary Clinton is that she did not win the 2008 primary election against President Obama. I don't know if it's the best thing that happened for the country, frankly. Okay. There are many people who not only have buyer's remorse about President Obama, but always are sort of nostalgically wondering aloud, what if, if only. Uh, Mrs. Clinton, Senator Clinton had been elected. But she went ahead and did something pretty gracious and pretty powerful all at the same time. She became the Secretary of State for the man who beat her yes. for the nomination. She's really calm. Unusual move. It is. Brilliant move, uh, actually. Uh, very gracious And brilliant move. on his part, too, to yes, hire her. Absolutely. Very, very smart. But she could have said no. She's got That's other things correct. to do and be. That's correct. And uh, she's, really, she's really caught a very compelling figure as Secretary of State and uh, at a very troubling time, of course, yes. around the world. And uh, her stock has gone up. She's about as popular as her husband now, which she never was. Bill That's Clinton right. Was always more popular than Hillary Clinton. I think what's next for her is probably grandmotherhood. Oh, really? Which will be a whole other dimension. I'm not breaking any news here. So. Um, but, uh, but, but I, I, you know, I think that's the next step for them also is to see them as grandparents, which is quite remarkable because we were introduced to the Clintons. 20 years ago, yes. and they were in their 40s. Yes. Um, and she probably will go ahead and take on some great issue. And you know, he's got the Clinton Global Initiative. Right. She, she could probably do something very similar. I would be very surprised if it didn't focus on women. She sort of had some unfinished business well, from that's her Beijing what we Women's love. Conference. That's what we love about her, is that she has stood up for women when other, and, um, other people have not. And I, I think that she also, She's she's doing things at a time when many women are overly glamorized or are known for what they're wearing, not what they're thinking, or uh, how many Facebook friends they have rather right. than how many foreign leaders they're leading. So it's it's pretty compelling. No foreign leaders on my Facebook it's pretty, page. It's pretty compelling, I have to say. And it's in it, ironically, it's in uh, contrast to what the First Lady Michelle Obama has been doing also. Um, the, the Hillary Clinton's really out there in a much more understated role. And so you don't think she's going to reinvent herself and run again? If she ran again, it should be in the primary this time against Barack Obama because she would cream him. She would wow. absolutely beat him this time. But it's a tough okay. slog. And, um, okay. and she's, a, she's a loyalist, if nothing else. Yes. Wow. All right. We're going to have to watch for that election. We're going to have to see if, if Kellyanne has sparked Hillary to get out there. <laughs> we'll find She'll be out. 70 in <laughs> 2016. Well, no, Ronald, how old was Ronald Reagan? Yeah, 69. There you sure. go. It's okay for a woman, too.